Hi, I'm Jeremy, and welcome to another episode of Practical IT. Happy 4th of July 2018 to all my American viewers. Today, we're going to take a look at a pair of commands, cal and calendar. Let's get started. We'll start on the Mac side, and we'll do a man cal. And it tells you that it's going to display a calendar uh, in a traditional format. If we type cal, it will give us the current month. If we want to find out what day of the week Christmas, for instance, falls on, we can type cal 12, 2018, and it will give us the calendar for December 2018, and we can see that Christmas falls on a Tuesday. Moving to the Linux side, if we type Cal, we get a similar calendar. Likewise, Cal 12 2018 gives us the calendar for December. If we look at the man file for calendar, it tells us it will check the current directory or directory specified by the environment variable for a file named calendar and displays lines that begin with either today's date or tomorrow's. Typing calendar, we get back a list of information that happened on July 4th. Caribbean Day in Guyana, Constitution Day in the Cayman Islands, U.S. Independence Day, Day of Peace and Unity in Rwanda, and so on. Moving to the Windows subsystem for Linux side, as you can see, calendar is not an existing command, but if we type cal, we get the same calendar that we've seen on both Linux and Mac OS. That brings us to the end of another episode of Practical IT. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe, click the bell icon for notifications, and feel free to leave comments below and share the video with your friends. Thanks for watching and have a great day.